what's going on guys welcome back to this video today's video will be hack the box video and we're doing relic maps relic relic maps is part of um the track named cyber apocalypse i told you about this i'm not gonna get back to this because it's very slow so let's go back so i told you i don't like slow things anyway some people forget and they always ask me what is this video about so i i need i feel like i always need to go back and tell them yeah this video is part of the cyber apocalypse track whatever so now the description says pandora received an email with a link claiming to have information about the location of the relic and attached ancient city maps but something seems off about it could it be rivals trying to send her off on a distraction or worse could it be trying to hack her systems to get what she knows? Investigate the given attachment and figure out what's going on and get the flag. So she received an attachment. We need to um, conduct an incident response and analyze the attachment. The attachment can be downloaded by visiting this link. Or you could easily uh, navigate to this URL or to this path here and download the image or the attachment. So let's go here and follow through the steps the first thing we're going to do guys is um, going back here so we're going to grab this and we're going to paste the link as you can see it says not found now if you go back and add this relic maps dot one Supposedly, we're going to be able to visit. Yeah, as you can see, there is indeed a file. So if we go ahead and download this file, we save it and we analyze the file. So let's clear CD, clear um, CD, downloads, not here. Desktop. So this is what we get relic maps dot once it's a one drive file so if we just type file and relic that's the first step we want to find the nature understand the nature of this file so it's data file if we type strings and put in the name of the file we get these gibberish stuff and scrolling down as you can see this is the date classified maps Let's keep scrolling down until we see something meaningful. Okay, until we I know how we see this. So take a look at this line. Script type visual basic script. So it contains a visual basic script file. And it doesn't look good. Our P9. There are some calls here to URLs, as you can see, starting from this line. So sub auto open. Auto open is a function in visual basic that automatically it executes the files executes the underlining um, uh, code here once the file is open so it means if i open the file now the, these lines will be executed so what do they do execute cmd async and it executes partial and it connects to this url relics maps upload soft top secret maps dot one it retrieves this file and downloaded it to this path and then we have another command that it does the same thing retrieves another file window.bat and saves it to the uh, machine on this location so since this is a city of file we're not going to get you lost guys so, on what you need to do now you have two paths the first one is downloading this file and other path is downloading the window.bat now this file it is meaningless it does nothing so your go-to file is this one window.bat so how to download this file simply guys grab the link starting from get okay and go to your browser paste the link like that and this will show you the .bat file okay now that's the file of interest in this uh, CTF challenge. It's a bad file. So what we're going to do, we're going to download this file 
using duplicate or you could simply copy you can simply copy the contents and paste it in a window file uh, in a bat file so clear ls i have the bat file here okay now if i cut the bat file take a look at its contents so it has page 64 it has other things that we cannot understand and uh, as you can see we have these if you scroll down we have page 64 you could simply take this and decode it but for now i'm telling you guys for now uh, it will uh, yield some non-readable or human readable data it's not readable scrolling down and we see this now before these lines you will not see the echo i just added the echo when i see when i saw these so when i saw these guys i thought maybe it's trying to do something okay and then we have as you can see the exit so start the lines that come after this line they're all lines that are executing something judging by the characters so what we did we just added echo bef before this line echo before this line and echo before this line so why do, do that we want to when we want when we execute the bat file we want all of this to be decoded and echoed back to the uh, terminal so that's what we did now this is a bad file it's not recommended to execute this file on windows your main operating system unless you have it on a virtual machine that's a different story you can go ahead and do it but to execute a bad file on windows there is a method on linux so to do that let me show you the command hopefully it's under the view yeah how to execute a bad file <coughs> on linux it's by executing wine cmd and the name of the file what this is going to do this will bring up as you can see a prompt a command prompt as in windows and i got all of this output when i executed the bat file <clears throat> so i skipped all of the above lines and i immediately came here so i thought that i would read these uh commands so as you can see it's executing another file bat.exe and this is kind of execute PowerShell, bypass the scripting the policy. And then we have these lines. So if we skip these and we go here, we see an uh, invocation of system security cryptography. The cipher mode is CBC. We see the padding and we see the key and we see the initialization vector. Okay. Now, <clears throat> this is a hint for some, something that we have actually uh, uh, witnessed earlier, which is the base64. If you scroll up to the contents of the bat file, you see a base64. Now, if you take this base64 on its own, okay, let's uh, remove these and do this from scratch. Okay, so I'm going to refresh the page. In CyberChef, so as you can see, guys, the base sixty four on its own. If I put here from page 64 and I see that I see as you can see the output looks encrypted, right? Now if you go back and take a look at these, so we have as you can see the uh, Windows bat file is encrypted, at least the uh, code execution with this um, crypto algorithm, CBC, and this is the IV. And this is the key. So what you're going to do, we're going to grab the contents, page 64, go to CyberChef, and from here you can type AES. And here the key will be in page 64. I'm gonna tell you why, or you will see why in a bit. The IV will base is 664, the mode will be CBC. We're gonna go back, and here as you can see the key. This is the key. 
as you can see the key is in base 64 the initialization vector is also in base 64 which is which starts from here on this variable okay now wait this is the initialization vector yeah here it ends here as you can see with the semicolon and this is the value in base 64 okay and able to decrypt input with these parameters we're gonna the input will be in row try in row and we get this okay let's scroll down what we need to do as you can see we haven't yet completed the um, decryption of this file we're going to need to follow along with these lines okay let's see what it does as you can see it does compression it invokes the compression algorithm gzip you can need to use gzip and yeah and finally it worked as you can see we see that the program is an executable file as you can see program cannot be run in those mode this is the signature of an executable file in windows so what to do now we're going to save this file okay just give it a name and now we save this file here so we want to take a look at the contents of the source code of this file we use something called the dnspy you can download guys dnspy from here from this link this will give you the chance to take a look at the source code of this uh, file and as you can see you are required oh what i did it's only a click <laughs> oh my god let's go back here okay so we'll op you just drag and drop the file here expand the relic maps go to relic maps programs and then the main function and there you go this is the flag okay so it is just uh, a bad file that invokes an encrypted executable file which performs callback to a c2 server judging by this line so a bad file leads to an uh, executable file the executable file was encrypted as you saw earlier with several bits of algorithm and encryption and encryption and compression algorithms and that was it so this is the flag guys